at idles. Yep. And uh, yeah, so it's removing roughly 30%. So it looks at this table at the same time it looks at this simultaneously. Problem is, it's not really a problem, but let's just say. So the first one was the fuel table and the second one is? The learn. Is the learn, okay. Yeah. So I'll show you, you see the, can you see the graph? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, what we'll do, learn is good, but it's only as good as what you tell it to learn. Okay. So what I'll do is on the learn table, I'm gonna transfer this to the base. And because it was mainly 20, 30%, the fuel graph probably won't look that bad, but big hole. So you're saying when you get in higher RPM is when it feels sluggish? Yeah. It feels well, what's happening is you're hitting a brick wall. If you look at that, basically you got no fuel here, which is good. That's what it wants. And then it, boom, crashes into that is the oh, problem. Okay. So we'll fix that though. Go. Yeah. You don't want it completely flat, but that's better than that brick wall yeah, it was hitting. Right. So then I can go down here and clean that up, but you really don't even idle in this area. Or drive, for that matter. But we'll just spin it that at a, that a low RPM. Yeah. So now, you can see a lot smoother graph. But... Yeah, like, what do you call that tape? Well, this is the fuel table. That's the fuel table. Yes. So the target, you can't do anything with. It's in simple mode. So we'll put it in 2D. And this is what I say, learning is only as good as what you tell it. So mm -hmm. we're saying 13.8 to one, which is good at idle. 14 sevens, cruising, but there's no gradient. So if we look at this graph, it's kind of choppy as well. And that's just the way it comes from Holly. So again, you go from cruising and it falls off a cliff into all kinds of fuel that it it's trying to tell it to have. Okay. So what we do is uh, target air fuel. 12.8 is about as rich as you want. So we'll fill the top. Cruising at 14.7 is great. So, oops. Sean's videoing me. You know? Yeah, I know. Go ahead, Sean. Send me a copy. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what it should, should it be? Is it running rich now? A uh, little bit richer at idle, and 14.7 is called stoichiometric, but it, it'll, I'm not really going to change that okay. a whole lot. All right. I just notice in the garage when I crank it up, it, it does oh, get yeah. a little gassy in there. I'm like, man, this thing is smelling rich. Yeah, we'll fix that. We'll go 14s at idle. Yeah, old hot rod's going to be that way just because. Mm -hmm. um, not the end of the world. No, 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 I don't mind. see we got some gradient I'll smooth it so instead of falling off a cliff now it's gradually gets into more fuel a little bit leaner here but smoother once it's smoother it, yeah it's all about that transition acceleration enrichment tables good maps good so if you start it up and it's cold mm -hmm. and you want to show off for your buddies and rev on it Typically, Holly's tables are really heavy on enrichment versus coolant temperature. And they do that because this could run at LS, could run a 632 big block. Oh, wow. So they try to leave it a little heavier, but I'll, I'll clean that up. We knock that down a little bit. And would that handle that? Like, even if it was warm, when I first started up, it goes, and then it idles down. Oh, we'll fix that. That's a different table. Different table, okay. Uh, fourth gear. Pretty good. You feel the converter lock in? I, I'm not sure, I'll be honest with you. Okay. So maybe, like I said, we can. What about when you roll on it? Do you feel it unlock? If I unlock, what do you mean? Well, like your passing gear. Does it feel like it drops and goes? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, it's just like in the in the city, it seems to hold onto the gear a little longer, right? Probably because of your throttle position. So without driving it, I can't really tell you. We could we could tune on that, but. So this air fuel offset, very important one, typically is gonna be adding additional fuel on warm up. So negative 0.1 is good, negative 0.2, negative 0.3, almost a negative 0.4. So it's about a half a point now, okay, versus it was one point. 
and I can kind of do a fill function here as well. Every engine's a little different in what it wants. Right. But when we graph this, we'll kind of smooth it all, and it'll. It's not going to be nearly a targeting as rich as it was warming up. Okay. We will start up. How you said it? It doesn't want to crank or fire right away. Well, it does. It fires right away. Okay. It just idles high for you know three or four seconds and then goes to the the normal idle. All right. This is a big one here. So the simple. This is your timing table. So LSs don't inherently like a lot of timing so 26 is shy at wide open 36 is a little too much in cruise in my opinion every motor wants something different but we know we're safe we'll say 3,000 rpm maximum timing we'll do 30 degrees and we'll just fill this again and give it some gradient 12 at idle is a little bit low but I'm not going to change it drastically just because your idle settings are probably happy. I'll go 18 at idle. Yeah, it's got a decent, decent idle. And again, this is just fill functions. Once you know the keystrokes, it's rather quick. Mm -hmm. So now, if we were to graph view this and smooth it, a lot more gradient just like our fuel map. So again, a little more timing in cruise. And when you're wide open throttle, 30 degrees maximum, which is actually over here. <laughs> you lead foot Larry or no, what? I, I, not yet, no. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm a grandma right now. So. <laughs> I'm going to say 6,500 just to be safe. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's where I'll save your engine. So we'll put it at 260 coolant temp, 250, 240. 30 to 20 and probably the coldest you ever run it we'll just say 10 degrees outside no yeah it'd never be outside 10 degrees, that's <laughs> yeah we got heat don't you not too good at oh <laughs> i did the delete all right so what i'm going to do just so it doesn't go into detonation if the motor ever gets to 230 we're going to knock six degrees of timing out of it just so it doesn't go into detonation and it might it might start to lay over mm -hmm. and that'll alert you let me look at the gauge right. oh shoot i'm overheating yeah. let me get off the road right so it's a little safety thing okay All right. and i know we have some things set up now where it's it would flash or alarm you yep so we'll do the same thing with air temp not that it's as important but again this just keeps you out of trouble so if it ever gets up to 200 degrees air temp will take out five degrees as well. Okay. And that retards the engine back? Retards the timing, yes. Yeah, okay, makes sense. It's drive by wire, right? Or is it a cable? cable? Darn. So if it's drive by wire, what we can do, if it gets hot, we just limit it to 5% throttle right. and just, that way you can get off the road. Right. You know? So, all right, here's the setting you like. So it holds at 40% cruising. That's a little high, and if you know, IAC motor, if the, if it's a quiet car, you'll hear it hiss. Mm -hmm. So we usually park it at 25 and decay it about two and a half seconds. The startup, it's holding it for four and decaying for four. So for eight seconds, that's why it's idling. Ah, okay. We'll go two and two. So in four seconds, it'll come back down to idle. Okay. And that's directly related to your park position. So when it's colder, it's at like a hundred percent. We'll change this a little, but not much. Go we'll 45. We'll just pull it down because I know you said it starts good, so we don't really yeah, want to mess with it. Yeah, fires right. You hit the key. You, you let the fuel pump run for a second. Boom. 750 is what you want for idle. That sounds good. You're happy with that? Yeah. Okay. Whoops. It's got a BTR stage two cam. Ah, sweet, Brian Dooley. Yeah. Yeah, so even a startup of a thousand is honestly a little high. We'll say 950 and a little gradient mm -hmm. to 750. All right. So we pretty much have changed everything. <laughs> mm. Pretty much have changed it all. All right. So what we'll do, file, save global file as. Yeah. The, what's your name? My well, name is Jesse. 
Jesse? Yeah, What's the date? 7, 9, 23, first start. Alright, so. so you can have three tunes in there, right? I think that's the way it is. Uh, you can put more than that, and I'll show you a really critical thing once we're happy with it. Okay. Very important. So, we will link back up. We'll send it to the ECU because we changed almost everything. Cycle the key off. So was the was the one I had still there? Or you just created a new one. No, it's a, it's the same one. It's just now refined. Okay. So I didn't know if I will see like the one I had and this one we just did and whatever. It should be saved on there. Okay. Um, if not, won't be the end of the world. Hopefully, I didn't mess it all up. Right? <laughs> That's why he's like. Uh, I'm like, okay, so I trust you. Yeah, we're gonna see it in just a second. Yeah. <laughs> Put it to the test. All right. So it either works or I get the ultimate turnkey package. That's right. right. <laughs> All That's right. USB linker up. <laughs> yep. So this guy, whoever put it in, obviously he's a tuner. It says tune DM. Yeah. Coolant temp, RPM, IAC, TPS, ignition, AFR. This guy knows what he's doing. That's good to know. Yeah. I like it. All right. Key on. Fire it up. All right, fire it up. This is where he's like, yeah, he doesn't <laughs> hang a high Let's idle. see what we got going. Better? Yeah, a little better. I mean, it hangs there. I, hangs. Hangs. I can make it be a little bit, but trust me, when you're first cranking, you got wet fuel, yeah. you want it to kind of yeah, flare said, and come okay. down. I think that's good. So, I think my targets, so we're idling at 14. When you step on it, you'll cruise over here mm -hmm. and wide opens up here. Now, a good way to know, when you step on the throttle, it should always increase in vacuum. If it doesn't and it goes this way, you ain't making enough power. I'm not making then you'll have to come to Prestige and get a little bit of a warm up. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's closed loop, it's learning, it's within 1%, so our learn table shouldn't be adjusting much at all. So ease it up to like 1500 or so. Yeah. 